Hey, what's up guys? It's Jose here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I want to talk about how you can get rid of sleep paralysis and negative entities. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I saw a video of someone else explaining how he uh, solved this problem with uh, sleep paralysis and uh, negative entities at night when you're sleeping and all that stuff. And... Um, what he said made me think because I struggled with this in the past uh, for many for many years every once in a while I would wake up and and you know notice this dense uh, dark energy and I wouldn't be able to move I would be completely paralyzed and obviously I would try to scream and I just wouldn't be able to move and it was it was terrifying and uh, and I felt I felt a lot of fear in those moments right and so this guy that was sharing um, about how people could solve this was by fighting against it, by um, by noticing that these negative entities would be these small beings and that you would have to feel sorry for them, for them trying to, um, you know, make you afraid and, and so on. And honestly, it couldn't be further from the truth. There is some aspect of it that could potentially be helpful for some people in beginning stages instead of being afraid of of this happening, um, you know, kind of like seeing it as like you you can't hurt me or I'm fighting I'm not a I'm not a victim and you know I'm 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 taking a stance and I'm going against you you can't hurt me and there might be some some helpful information in this um, but it is not true and that is the thing um, the part that you're not a victim that is this is true <laughs> but this part that you would have to go up against these entities or that you would have to fight you know and 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 you know this is that's just it's nonsense it's nonsense and I'll tell you why it's because Whatever you think is paralyzing you, whatever you think is uh, attacking you, doesn't exist, okay? It doesn't exist. And you might be saying right now, what the hell are you talking about? What do you mean it doesn't exist? I, um, I mean, why the hell am I getting paralyzed? I'm, I'm noticing it. I, I can feel it. Are you saying that I'm making this all up? And no. Of course, I'm not saying that you're making this all up. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the, the experience you're having is, is very real and it feels very real to you, as it did for me. Again, this is not coming from someone judging you, saying this is all bullshit, this is all nonsense, and, and just stop thinking that negative entities exist or whatever. This is coming from someone that experienced everything you are experiencing right now. What I'm trying to say is with the fact that it doesn't exist is that it literally can only exist in your mind, okay? Negative entities can only harm you if you believe in them, okay? What that means is that you don't have to fight against them. All you need to do is stop engaging in this, um, in this cycle of you thinking that you are a separate being in the universe and that there are other entities apart from you that are trying to hurt you. When we go back to understanding that unity was the first truth in the universe, that this is where everything comes from, and that everything that exists comes from this one source, which means that every other entity in the whole universe comes from this source, which is love, which is freedom, which is compassion. Um, and so once you understand this, and you understand that only entities or other energies that are vibrating at the same level as you do, which doesn't mean that you necessarily are a negative entity, but this vibration of fear that they carry, this vibration of, you know, this low vibration that they live in, some part of you is vibrating in this frequency, right? So as long as you identify with this lower frequency as long as you identify with this eternal battle and struggle between good and evil uh, with other beings being able to hurt you 
it's never going to pass. You're never going to solve this. And so, you know, not feeling like a victim and going up against these entities and blah, blah, blah is going to be helpful for some people because at least you don't feel like a victim anymore. But it only perpetuates the, the, the again, the eternal fight of something that does not exist. Because only that which you believe in can exist in your reality. So if you stop believing in this fight between good and evil, whenever you have sleep paralysis or whenever you have a thought about something outside of you being able to hurt you, just come back to that truth of there is nothing outside of me. I am unity. I am part of unity as is everything else in existence. Whenever you stop playing this game of good versus evil, of separation, sleep paralysis ceases, ceases to exist in, in your experience of life. It stops. It simply stops because it cannot exist when you let go of this story, when you let go of this, um, this illusion of, of, of this eternal battle, right? So, I mean, I've seen many videos. I was curious about what other people had to say about this. Um, and uh, everybody talks about the same. And I just wanted to make this, shoot this quick video to set things straight to for whoever watches this video, stop listen stop listening to all this this nonsense and people mean it well but it's just not true and so it's so much simpler than fighting and doing this and that and this technique and that technique right just let go of this of the story of you being attacked by other beings or negative entities that is it for this video i hope it helps give it a try and you'll notice that it will all stop and nothing but goodness and love and deep rest will be what happens at night when you go to sleep. Peace.